So how is it that we can eat food that's real and nothing happens to the planet, but the moment we start eating food out of boxes and cans, the planet is suddenly in crisis and nobody's allowed to touch anything that's natural. And then we wonder why we're sick. Oh, oh he did, oh, almost, oh, almost. So real life question, how is it that we can live in such an abundant world where food is readily available but it's protected and you and I are more or less programmed to eat food out of a can or a box? One of those geese would feed Dom and I for a week with some veggies and a little bit of fruit and maybe some sourdough bread. I'm food too. Well, yeah. Hmm. If a plane crashed and we're in Alaska, I might have to eat you. Seeing as how these birds are protected under law, I, I, I think I want to come back as a Canadian again, eh? But I want to come back as a goose, a Canadian goose. Not a beaver? I think you have to work more when you're a beaver. Yeah, you're probably better off coming back. I don't think I want to be a beaver because I don't want to eat trees all day. Mm, well, I don't yeah. want to be gnawing on trees yeah, all but, day. But you wouldn't be one of those low class. You'd be a worker. You know I know, you'd be like a, a water collar worker yeah, you'd be when a you're a water beaver. Collar. Yeah, I'm working, I'm working this dam. Get out of here. What do you mean they're, what do you mean they're, they're moving up to upstream corporations, they're going to build a bigger dam? This is going to wreck our economy. I know. The mom and pop shops are going to close down. What are you talking mom and pops? It's only the moms that are doing all the work here. The only, the only real hazard that I'm aware of here in Canada that these guys have is, are, is the traffic going to stop to let you walk by? Because I do see the occasional dead Canadian goose that cars just refuse to stop for. Occasionally I've thought about picking it up and bringing it home for dinner, but you know, I don't know how long it's been there. Well, you know, I'm enough. kidding. But, but, yeah. you know, when we were being programmed... Why are you getting it, close to me? Because that's what I do. <laughs> you know something, I'm not even going to say you're probably right. You're probably making shit up at this point. Are you <laughs> Would you like a side order of bacon that's with right. that bullshit that you're ordering? We're, we're, hey, we're like the Cubans. In the Cuba, sad as it may say, there's rations and all that. But as, as, a, as a citizen, you can have a bacon slice as a potential citizen you don't get one yet but as a tourist you can have as much as you want sweet yeah that's how we uh, do it. taxpayer funded of course no not taxpayer funded budget funded well pff, that budget comes from taxpayers no it doesn't oh these geese get aren't, with the these program. geese aren't paying the price. get with the program woman <laughs> how come i have to pay for geese to live in my country and i can't freaking eat them they're not in your country they were here first no look at that did you, oh did you see the that slide? was freaking did you, awesome did you see the slide I hope you caught that shit. That was an amazing slide. That's like that. Hey, this is why Canadians are really good at figure skating because we watch and monitor the synchronistic swimming. There you go. <laughs> and skating. <laughs> and skating. And curling. And curling. curling. So, in case you want to know where we are today, it's called the Marita Payne Pond. Apparently, she was an Olympian. I don't follow the Olympics, so I don't know much about any of that. 3.03, and it's time to catch our bikes and hit the pavement and get on home. Because by the time we get there, Gypsy's probably going to say, well, did you bring me back any bird? I'll say no, but you got some chicken dinner in the closet. <laughs>